There are those who made the ultimate sacrifice and others who came back from service with PTSD or with physical health issues. And reporter Julian Pottis is live for us at the Albuquerque Convention Center where officials and veterans themselves want to address the issue of care once they're back home. That's right, Doug Shelley, veterans I spoke with say in the past their fellow soldiers have not had access to proper care. But one veteran is trying to spread awareness to get better care, like the PACT Act. It's supposed to help veterans who have been exposed to burn pits, Agent Orange, and sometimes toxic substances. They gave the ultimate sacrifice for not only you and me, but for this country and everyone else. Jay James is a retired Army veteran who has come to pay his respects to the soldiers here. Not only are they Medal of Honor recipients who risked their lives, but they also represent soldiers of Hispanic and Latino background, a group James says should be recognized more. Uh, people made these choices for us to be afforded the benefits that we have here in the United States with our rights. Armando Teyes, who is also a veteran, created this memorial, calling it the legacy of valor. For over a decade, Deus researched these soldiers, their lives, their stories. Many of them, he says, also dealt with health issues, some exposed to toxic chemicals while serving. And it's really important that all of our veterans know that if you served in the military and you were exposed to any kind of workplace hazard, you have the opportunity to get improved health care through the VA system. Representative Melanie Stansberry is referencing the PACT Act, which covers any veteran who served and became sick. She says it's crucial veterans have access to this because these 61 Medal of Honor vets didn't. I think it's way past due. They paved the way for us because um, we learned from them. We learned how not to treat our veterans. It's a history dating back to the Vietnam War, which Thea says has been forgotten for these men. Nationally, we have our histories being whitewashed. We have our histories being changed, and so this exhibit is going to help preserve who we are as a gente. We need to make sure that we're taking care of our veterans who went out there and bravely fought for our country. Now, the PACT Act was passed last year, and Stansberry says although many veterans have lost their lives to things they can sometimes not control, she and Thea's hope that this memorial and the work they will do in the future address changes needed to get veterans the care they deserve. Live in Albuquerque, Julian Paras, KOAT, Action 7 News.